We begin tonight with a major security breach uncovered during an emergency at Coral Springs High School. Uh, cops were called out following the lockdown, but were not able to do their jobs, putting innocent lives at risk. Local 10 News reporter Hansel Vela joining us live now with the details for us. Hansel. Well, Kevin, it looks like the school district doesn't really want to talk about the issue, citing safety and security. But we did find a school board member who wants to talk about the issue and wants that issue fixed. Last Friday, Coral Springs High School was placed on lockdown after reports of a suspicious person on campus. A security guard reportedly saw a teenager climb over a fence. Police quickly realized there was no threat and an all clear was given. But the story takes a twist. Turns out police didn't immediately have keys to go inside the classrooms. School board member Lori Halhadef is aware of the issue. They got access to the box, but when they went inside, there was no keys in the box. What they call a Knox box is where first responders can find master keys to the building. Teachers were reportedly texted to open the doors for police, something that is against the school's code red policy because an intruder could be on the other side. Why is that a problem? Well, it's a problem because law enforcement needs to respond as quickly as possible to an incident to get onto campus. A Coral Springs police spokesperson reminded us this was a precautionary lockdown and had the situation been worse, officers could have easily gone inside the classrooms. Yes, having the keys would have made it easier, she said. When asked about the incident regarding access to the keys, the school district doesn't want to say what happened, only saying, Quote, due to statutory exemptions pertaining to school safety and security, our office is not able to provide information or comment. All of this happening the day after the California school shooting and as we get close to the second anniversary of the Stoneman Douglas tragedy. You need to pay attention and it's something you need to be fixed about that. Al Hadef tells us that the top security chief at the school district is working with different police departments and fire departments to find one solution for this problem. But remember, guys, we're talking about 200 plus schools, so it's going to take a while. Reporting live from Coral Springs, I'm Hatsavella, Local 10 News.